Hello, this is Mike Lively from Northern Kentucky University, and today we're going to take a look at GIMP and the NKU Photo Repository. Now, if you're watching this video and you don't have a repository like NKU's, you can do the same techniques from any repository that you have or any photo group on the web. What we're going to do today is we're going to uh, use GIMP to resize and cut out images. We're going to log in to the uh, photo repository, which is photos.nku.edu, grab an image, resize it, cut out a piece of the image and flash animate it. So let's go to the uh, photo repository. Here's it right here it is right here. And let's go ahead and log in. So click on University Online Photo Gallery and put in your username and your password. Let's log in. And continue. So we're logged in to the image repository and over here on the left there's a pull down and there's a uh, various uh, areas that you can search. For example, let's click on building. And you can see there's a list of icons with descriptions of the buildings. If I click on one, I can see here's the image right here. This is the Applied Arts and Science Technology Building. And I have the option of choosing a 640 by 480 or a huge 2,896 by 1,944 image. Uh, that's just a large pixel size. So what a lot of people will do with a repository like this, they'll grab an image, they'll throw it on a web page, and they'll shrink it in uh, width and height and they think they've shrunk it in file size but haven't. You actually have to bring that into a photo editor like GIMP for example and shrink it. Now let's go ahead and do that. We're going to grab this image. We'll just grab a 640 by 480 but remember if you've got uh, the huge size here you've got to bring it down or your file will take a long time loading and that'll be a poor user experience. So we'll grab the 640 by 480. Now on this particular repository I tried to log in and put in my username and password so I could go through the download process and it didn't work. Now I'm not sure why but this is a brand new repository so maybe there's an issue there or maybe they meant something else but what I noticed if I right click on the screen there's a save image as so I just click on save image as and I can save that to a folder that I have a Dreamweaver page so I have a folder titled uh, Zest or Ztest site let's uh, go ahead and save this image and now we're gonna move over to that folder and take a look at it so here's my folder right here Ztest site I'm gonna double click on that and I have the image that I brought in and I also have the test uh, HTML page that I'm using Dreaming for. Let's go ahead and click on that uh, image, take a look at it. It's, it is 640 by 480 and there's the image right there. And that uh, is still too big for my web page. Let's bring it into the web page real quick. We'll open up Dreaming for. And I'm going to insert this page. I'll just go insert image and since I've saved the image and the Dream River page together it does appear right in my screen right away and I'll click on it and I can give it some alternate text and hit OK. And there's my image and like I said what a lot of people do they'll just shrink it and go wow I made it smaller but that just increases the file upload time so you don't want you want to do more than just shrink an image like this you actually have to process it in an image processor and that's where GIMP comes along let's do that next Okay, we're going to use GIMP to process this image, and the first thing you need to know is uh, GIMP is free, and if you haven't used GIMP before, you can actually learn how to use it using my YouTube videos. And we'll go to www.youtube.com forward slash Mike Lively, go to my playlist, and we'll do that right now, and choose the GIMP Basics Part 1 and Basics Part 2 and watch those. Let's go ahead and go to the website or to YouTube, and we're on YouTube, and just go to my playlist and click on that, and zip on down to... Um, free software and tutorials on how to use them and click on that and just zip on down here and there's my GIMP tutorials GIMP uh, basics part one and GIMP basics part two go ahead and watch those and you'll be in good shape for installing GIMP and for doing this uh, basic foot editing that we're going to do today so let's go down to the start menu click on start go to all programs and go to GIMP and click on GIMP and this is going to be a, a fairly simple process so once GIMP opens up, just go to the file and go open. Navigate to your file and open it up. So we're going to go to our files, which are on the desktop. And the folder is called Ztest. And click on the image. And it opens up in GIMP. And what I want to do is shrink this down to 320 by 240. So I'm going to go ahead along here and I'm going to grab my scale tool and I click on that and I click on the image 
And immediately I have a lock right here, so I can lock this so it scales proportionally, and I want that to happen. So it may not be quite 320 by 240, but at least I want the width to be 320. So we hit 320 and enter. I got a 215, which is fine. We've scaled that image down, and now you have this transparent background. You want to get rid of that? So just go to Image and hit Auto Crop Image, and there you have the image the size you want it. Uh, now that you're done, you want to save that. So go File, Save Image As. And down here you have here you have many options of image type. And let's choose a JPEG image. So we'll scroll down here. And there's my JPEG type right there. Let me scroll back on the other side so you can see the screen is a little bit long. And there's my JPEG right there. Just click on that and you want to hit save. Click on save and uh, it's already called that name so let's go ahead and rename it. So cancel that. We'll rename the image. Uh, we'll call it 320 so I know that it's 320 across. And I distinguish it from the original. So let's go ahead and hit save. And a GIMP really uh, immediately GIMP immediately alerts me that you know you're going to lose some transparency information here. We we haven't saved it in the typical GIMP uh, file format, but we're going to save it as a JPEG. Let's go with that. We'll hit export. And now we have actually had the option to crop and resize the image to another size. I could actually hit uh, show preview image. And I could play around with this uh, image quality and actually bring the image down in size if it's too large. Now, typically, I'm going to tell you uh, around 80 is good. And then we can see that's 11 kilobytes, and that's going to come up really quickly. So we'll hit Save. And now we're ready to bring that new image into Dreamweaver. Let's go ahead and bring up Dreamweaver. And we'll just uh, get rid of this image by clicking on it, hitting the Delete button. Go Insert, Image. Click on your 320 by 240. We'll give it a name. We'll call it Building or AS Building. And hit OK. And there's our image, just about the same size, but let me tell you, the file size is different. And what is the difference in file size? Well, let's bring up the folder real quick here. One image is 30 KB, and the other image is 11 KB. Not a big savings here. But many times when you have the huge images, they can be several megs. And you're definitely going to want to use GIMP to bring that image size down. So that's how you bring an image size down in GIMP and save it and put it in a web page. Let's move on and show you how to cut something out and animate it.